<sighs> All right, let's see. So now I just need to add a little bit of sugar here. There we go. And a fresh egg and ta-da! All right, there we go. So we've got the cake. All right, oh, there you are, sweetie. Hello. All right, now here's some cake for you. Oh, and nice, yay! All right, Primrose, Primrose, we have tamed, uh, well, you know, it's a little, we've forged a cake contract with your new sister, Primrose. I'm so excited. Here, do you want to, do you want to come over and sit at the table? You are more than welcome to sit at the table, sweet. Yeah, there you go. Come on in. No, you you can come right over here. Oh, yep. Well, that's okay. Yeah, if you're hungry, you're welcome to those waffles and those raisins. If you are, if you're feeling a little peckish, I hope you can find yourself a comfortable seat. Primrose, I hope you enjoy uh, having a new sister. In fact, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna kind of eat a little bit of that. Oh, I was really hungry. Oh, I was really hungry. Ah, uh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. We are here in the kitchen with Primrose and her new little sister. We're gonna have to think of a really cute name for her, like Buttercup or. Let's see, what are some other tiny little flower names? So I'm going to think up some cute names that we can give to Primrose's sister. And we're going to try to find a proper Primrose that we can put on top of Primrose's head, by the way. You guys are like, oh, do that, do that. With, like, Siri, Siri, put a Primrose on her head. That would be really fun. And we're probably going to set up their hair so that it's different, get the proper uniforms for them. But we have two little maids now. All right, let's see. Oh, come here, come here, sweetie. There you go. Yep, you're in wait mode now. Come on over. Come on over. Take a seat at the table. I guess that's one way. She's still so excited. This is Carlos. He's a dodo. He's very friendly. Um, Primrose really likes him. You guys could be considered like very good friends. There we go. Now Primrose is in wait mode too. So these guys should stay right here. Whew, haven't even washed the dust off of my boots yet from the adventure that we were just on. Taking care of... Uh, ooh, I've got some milk I need to put away too. Oops, no, I threw the milk on the ground. That's not what I wanted. But yeah, I haven't even managed to wash the dust off my boots yet when it comes to having been on our grand adventure. But we did it, you guys. We found the tiger. So we actually have a big, beautiful tiger that we're going to take out of its safari net and put down into its exhibit very soon. Oop, I can turn my little waypoint off for home because we found home. Puppies, I'm home. Oh, yeah. Iris, ma. Pine, ma. All right, good. And let's see, I might need to move some of my puppies over a little bit. Lily, how you doing? You guys, why don't you come over here so I can keep an eye on where all of you are. Just kind of like hang out in the main puppy area. Maybe if I put some toys. Do you think if I added some toys in the yard over there, they would they would prefer staying in this area? All right, Tate. Don't worry, Ash. I'm coming back for you, too. Naughty boy, Ash. He's always such a silly puppy. All right, and Holly is in there. So I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Where's Zoe? Zoe! Oh, there you are, Zoe! Right under the tree, there. Oh, good, I found all my dogs. Oh, it's good to be home. That was a fantastic adventure yesterday, though. We found lots and lots of different plants. We managed to find ourselves a tiger, but we did manage to make a big mistake when we were in the village of uh, Zomberry Village, and you guys pointed that out. So, you guys, we traded the collie to Iverson by accident and oh okay so let me go ahead and put these away real quick darling it's good to see you darling um I'm gonna talk to you later about how I may or may not have added to the family Oof, I guess I should have had a little bit of a discussion with him about that before like the event but well there you have it all right let's see what else to put away fresh milk there we go put some of the sugar away Oof. haven't even had time to really stop and pause and tidy things up but let's see yeah, we're actually, we'll head over into Zomberry Village in just a second, you guys, because I'm so sorry. I can't believe that Collie that we had in our backpack for so long. I accidentally traded her away because I was just so focused on trying to force Iverson to hand over some more of those freaking safari nets. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe. We were going to name her Devin and everything. I'll have to see. Oh, we'll go over there and we'll talk to Iverson in a second and see what, what will happen. But really quickly, uh, I just... Uh, there's so much, so much stuff in my, my backpacks and I'm just like full of all of these savanna plants. So give me just a moment. I just want to throw any of the plants that I don't want to put into our, um, into our tiger exhibit, into the plant sorting shed. So that, ooh, there we go, like the kangaroo paw. I'm really excited that we managed to get our hands on some kangaroo paws. 
Um, you know, the, the plants, not the actual kangaroo paws. I'd be really alarmed if I actually, like, had stumbled across some kangaroo paws that were actual paws while we were out there. That would have been very, very upsetting, actually. Oh, wow, we really didn't even collect up that much. I was, I was focused. I was trying to stay on top of the mission. Ah, all right, well, whew. And Mara actually told me that she left us some mail as well. So let's come over and check what our mailbox is doing. Ooh, all right. Jude, hello! And you guys are so awesome because you came up with some amazing theories about how we could communicate with Jude. So it, the theory is that Endermen... Oh, hello, Jude! The Endermen might communicate their Endermine sort of language uh, partially through color variances. So, like, waving a little redstone torch around might help us learn how to communicate with Jude. And I really like that idea a lot. So we'll try working on that in the future. All right. Oh, and these are Mara's presents. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I think she found us. Oh, but what kind of big cats? Ugh, I don't want to open them yet. I don't want to open them yet and check because like, what if they, what if they, uh, okay. All right. We'll open one and use reusable safari net. Um, possibly over here where it's a little bit safer. And it's a tiger. Of course it would be a tiger. After all of that, like, exploring we did to try to find tigers, we have two South Chinese tigers now then, you guys. <gasps> this is so exciting. We'll release them into the village in a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Mara, we need to bring you. We're going to have to have, like, a special day where we just bring Mara some presents because she has helped us so much with getting plenty of new animals. <gasps> this is so exciting. All right, all right. Hang on a second, Jude. I just need to, let's see. And the sand cats. You guys, I'm so excited about those sand cats. You have no idea. And we do have the acacia saplings, so we could work on getting more acacia saplings to trade to Iverson. So he'll hurry up and trade us one of the really awesome little, um, one of the really super duper awesome safari nuts, the reusable ones that we need more of. All right, let's see. And then what else do I need? Oh, my head's just so addled. All right, that should be everything. Well, let's head into the village really quickly. Hello, teleportation chameleon. I really should move this little torch over a little bit. I don't like walking on fire, I will admit that. It's not really something I'm into. Oh yeah, I was looking for my shears because there's some tall grass in the village or even just normal grass that we can kind of grab. Hey, boulder, how are the villagers doing? I hope they're doing well. You're looking great. The moss on your head is looking fantastic. And, oh goodness, so I've got to kind of come in here. Iverson, Iverson, we need to talk. I kind of accidentally traded you a, like, um, safari net. It had a dog in it. Are you, nope, nope, not even willing, not yet. Okay, well, okay, we'll talk about that. Oh man, uh, I don't see a collie anywhere. I see a cow talking to this, Dina, Dina, you're discussing the merits of skeleton skulls with this cow. I'm sure that's not alarming whatsoever. And <gasps> guys, it's a collie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's our little collie. Hello. Hello, darling. Oh, come back to me. I'm pretty sure, is this our, hey, JJ. <gasps> ah, Monsuri, there you are. JJ, you're talking. Yes, well, Iverson was very surprised when a dog popped out of one of the safari nets that you traded to him. We all know how you are with animals, though, so I decided to watch it until you got back. Oh, well... <laughs> oh, we have our collie back. I told you guys everything would be okay. Thank you so much, JJ. You're welcome. Oh. Oh, anyway, I also wanted to talk to you because some of the villagers here have some requests. Since I'm close to you, they asked me to represent them. I keep telling them not to be so shy around you, but, well... Anyway, you've done a great job healing so many villagers from their previous, well, you know, zombie state. Don't get me wrong, they're all grateful, just things are starting to get a little crowded. Oh my goodness. All right, so I've got some options on how to reply. <laughs> Crowded, I rescued them from being zombies. Can't you figure out how to build the village yourselves? No, that wouldn't be something I would say. No way. Oh, there are a lot of villagers now. I see your point. What can I do to help? Which is totally me because I love helping my villagers. Well, I've got a few ideas. Iverson, for example. He really likes to study that mechanical net technology. And I'll bet he'd be happy, happily move into those laboratories you've got. You know, the ones with the professor cows. Also, the archaeologists have heard that there is a village, Relic Ruins, that focuses on studying ancient relics and dinosaur bits and pieces the way they love. I'm sure they'd be happy to move in there if there's room for them. And, well, I'm not sure where they would go, but do you think the gravekeepers could, well, find somewhere else? They're kind of creepy with their pockets full of zombie heads and make the rest of us nervous. 
<laughs> that would be true. I've often thought that maybe the gravekeepers, you know, are a little bit too close to the dead side of things for the villagers of Zomberry Village to feel entirely comfortable. So those are some great ideas, JJ. I can move the villagers, no problem. If Iverson will trade me some more safari nuts, that's another story. Thanks, Siri. We'll be really grateful for the help. There just aren't enough doors to go around for everyone to open and close the way a villager loves to do, you know? Anyway, any word on my brother? Oh. Oh, um, JJ, I'm sorry. I, I still, you know, the Nightstone and the Nether Star. Uh, well, now I feel a little silly for running off and collecting plants. I mean, half of my first son kind of is still in my freezer. Oh, JJ, I'm sorry. I don't have the materials to bring him back to life yet. That's the bottom line. Oh, well, I understand. Don't get me wrong. Ash Jr. is settling in well, but that's just half of the junior I, as I remember him. Anyway, don't worry about it, Mom. We know you'll bring him back. I'll let you go. I'll let go let the villagers know they can think about moving if they're interested. Well, all right. Thank you so much, JJ. Oh, and it is night. No wonder everybody was so excited. And the collie is right down here. Uh, well, at least we got our collie back. And that's really fun. It's about time JJ started talking to me. I'm so proud of you, son. Representing the village. Oh, we're getting a proper little society in here. But it makes a lot of sense. I mean, look, they're all fighting because there's not enough room to get into the door there. Uh, I really I really do need to give him a little bit more space, but come on, little collie. Why don't you come on with me, and we'll bring you home so that you can stay in the yard with our dogs, and then we'll be able to tame her in the future. I don't think there's any beds available in the village, and I do still need to get some tall grass. Ah, oh, well. All right, Boulder. Good job keeping an eye out on the village. All right, I'm closing the gates. You keep an eye out. Make sure the villagers don't don't get hurt. What the heck was that? I could have sworn I just saw like a bat fly by. That would have been really cool if a bat flew by. Oh, well, I'm super excited. JJ's finally talking to me. It must be part of his new role as like one of the well, a village leader. Ooh, I'd be really proud if one of my sons stepped up and was the village leader. That would be fantastic. Hey, Agent Noodles. Hello, darling. Coming to bed? All right, snooze time. Oh, all right, Oop, darling, good morning. I'll put some breakfast on the table, no worries. In fact, I can go and do that really quickly because I'm sure the girls are gonna be a little hungry. I wonder what, they do love sugary things. Maybe, do I have a little sugar treat? Hello, ladies. Good morning, how are you? I'm gonna see if I have a little sugar, ooh. Well, I'm being, I'm being naughty. I'm being naughty, 100% naughty. But there you go, ladies. You guys can have a caramel apple for breakfast. I know that's kind of like, I should be offering you healthier food, but you're not really my kids. You can choose to eat the caramel apple or not. You love sugar. Maybe maids just operate on a higher sugar ratio than the rest of us. So don't want to judge. Don't want to judge. All right. Puppies are doing okay. I have a sea of puppies actually. <laughs> that's the truth. I really do have so many puppies. All right. And now we have another one. So who wants to wander? All right. Lily, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? It's a collie rescue mission. And she's really freaking cute, actually. So let's see, who's set to wander? Iris, do you wanna wander? You're very good. Zoe, Zoe, you're a sweetheart. Tate, you're a sweetheart too. Ash, you're not such a sweetheart, but I love you anyway. <laughs> All right, why don't I have Ash and Alia? I'm gonna have Ash and Alia come with me and we'll go down to the tiger exhibit and we're going to put some of these plants in there. And let's see, I need a stick really quickly. I really should just leave a stick out here, shouldn't I? I'm always running back and forth. All right, let's see, see, I don't have, oh wait, there was a stick, there was a stick next to some TNT. I really should probably put that TNT somewhere else. Oh, okay. Hello, ladies. Dodo egg. Carlos, thank you. Um, all right, there we go. And I'm going to have Alia. You're going to follow me. And Ash, why don't you go ahead? And I'm going to have you follow me. And I'm going to let the collie just kind of settle in. So Iris, everybody else, please make her feel welcome. Show her where the dog food is. Plenty of dog food down here. I'm going to take a little bit of the duck and sweet potato to feed to my, my two companions of the day, my little A-team. Well, there she goes. So that's going to be little Devin. And we will tame her and get her settled in pretty soon. But for now, let's get these tigers out of their safari nets. So we're going to head on down. Man, that conversation, conversation with JJ is kind of sticking in my mind, though. I really have kind of just put the subject that, you know, Junior kind of died and I brought him back to life. 
mm, out of my mind, but I need to work on that a little bit more. Might need to work on picking these papaya pretty soon too, because this would be a really great way, actually, to earn quite a bit of experience. The zookeeper experience points. And then from there, we'd be able to take the zookeeper experience points and make a lot of money so that we can get more emeralds, so that we can trade Iverson and hopefully get some more of the reusable safari nuts. Ah, that's what work is. That's what that's one of the reasons you work. You produce the goods so you can get more goods. And it just has this big giant old cycle. Alright, get that little papaya, but I kinda wanna work on the tiger exhibit right now. We're so close to being done with the first exhibit of the month, and that is so exciting. That's so exciting, Ash, because our zoo ah, I won't say it grows slowly, but that's the truth of it. I just won't say that it grows slowly. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. That's what I'm trying to say. Oop, and there's another papaya tree right here. I know we didn't get all of them, but we'll trade the papaya in a little while. There we go. Oh, man. Dang it, papaya. Stop being so tempting. But I see them, and all I can think is like, ooh, I could eat at the cafe if I harvested that. Ooh, I could I could potentially get more reusable safari nets if I harvested that. It's very tempting. I guess I'm a workaholic no matter what like situation I'm in. All right, and by the way, we have a new extension on the hummingbird exhibit so that now you can come in, you can close the door. I took away the automatic door so that you can kind of time things yourself. Come in again, close the door, and no more escaping hummingbirds because I did have one escape and I had to rush off and catch it. It was quite alarming. Might take away the player sensors just on the first set of doors, if not the second. All right, and we're almost back to the tiger exhibit. Good job, Alia. Come on, Alia. Come on, Ash. I can't wait till we get this hallway looking nice. I can't wait till we start having guests show up. That's going to be real fun. You know, walking the empty hallways gets a little boring after a while. I would love to have some other researchers and guests start coming in. You know, really, our zoo's big enough if people wanted to come live here as researchers. That would actually be a really good idea, wouldn't it, puppies? Look at mom. She's a thinker. All right, so tall grass. Ironically, doesn't seem like it grows over here. Well, that's kind of silly, but South Chinese tiger exhibit. Okay. All right, Ash, sit. Oh, yeah, come here. Good girl. Good girl, come. All right, sit down, please. And, well, we may not have tall grass, but I could get tall. Oh, yeah. I could get tall ferns if I could collect these. And then, let's see. All right, so there's some ferns, but I would need bone meal. Do I have any bone meal? I don't think I do. Darn! I was gonna bone meal them to make them bigger so that the tigers would have more more tall things to hide in, but no such luck. Alright, well here's our beautiful tiger exhibit. It is looking absolutely awesome with all of the bamboo growing up along the back. Oh, all of your guys' suggestions just really brought this place to life, and I really do think adding that tall grass in the back is gonna help a ton too. All right, well, geez, there's stuff to do in Zonberry Village. I've got some tigers to release. Let's put down a few of the philodendrian and the maidenhair spleenwort ferns. Um, do we want to add another type of bamboo in? See, I need the, the bone meal again. Darn it. Just never have bone meal when I need it. I have so much bone meal back at home, but I'm already way down here. So let's see. Maybe some of these. I wouldn't mind putting, like, another tree back there. In fact, I think we'll put another tree back there. Maybe a small jungle sapling? So there's an idea. Or a yutsu sapling? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll... Yeah, a small jungle sapling, I think, would be a nice thing to tuck back there. And we'll see if it grows on its own. Uh, the Lazari bells. Would these be good? No, we're kind of using a different color scheme in here. So I'm going to put this away. Because we're doing, like, the little, the little itty-bitty torch cones and these guys and maybe the torch ginger the, the torch ginger looks like they would fit in here okay whoops all right fell right into the water that's fine siri that's fine um and then i'm actually going to move this little thing man you know you're meticulous when you have to lift up your leaf piles there we go all right there we go torch ginger can go right there and i'm gonna go ahead and we'll do a few leaf piles i thought i heard the puppies yell so that surprised me uh, oh, there we go. Oh, philodendrian. I knew you were what we needed. Emerald philodendrian, being so pretty. Come here, emerald philodendrian, and add your little green touches. I still think the may apples from um, Twilight Forest are an a fantastic, amazing idea. But, you know, I've not been to Twilight Forest, geez, in a long time. I haven't been since we, we came to this new, new place, this new world. 
Oh man, oh man, I ran out. All right, well, kangaroo ferns, you're going to fill in some of the sections back here. And maidenhair spleen warts, you too. Nice, dark, beautiful, rich coloring right there. I love it, I love it. Let's see, maybe a few back here. This is where I kind of want to add a lot of the tall grass right here, so I'm not going to put too many over here. Um, let's see, and then maybe a tree? I don't think a tree could grow back here. Not without some help, so I'll be back here to try to help you later, little tree. Alright, anything else for our tigers? I'm trying to think. Um, more leaf piles, maybe? Maybe another maidenhair spleenwort? Um, let's see, whoops. Tate's backpack is what I had everything stored in. And anything else? Maybe some club rushes? Uh, down along the, the riverbank? Maybe? Like, maybe a couple. And don't worry, there's not too many plants in here for the tigers to, like, get caught up in. I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll be totally fine. But uh, actually, I think this is good. I think other than the tall grass in the background, we have now fully covered this exhibit. It looks fantastic. It is ready to go. Ready to have some animal action. So let's go ahead. We're going to get out these big cats. And you guys, this is going to be our new project for today is trying to pick the names of the two tigers. And actually, one of the names I think we're going to use for the female is probably Amber. It's been a name that a lot of different people have suggested, not just one person. And it just has stuck in my head and I would love to name her Amber. But then um, other people have been suggesting like Chinese dynasty names or things like that for the South Chinese tiger. But, you know, it could be something more playful. It could be something else. So please suggest a way and we will figure out what to name these beautiful tigers and I am ready to release them. There we go, there we go. Oh, you guys, we have tigers in the tiger exhibit. We have tigers. Oh, and straight into the water. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, they're swimming. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, they're walking around. Where's the other one? Oh my gosh, look at them. There's tigers in the tiger exhibit, and they're swimming again. Oh, I'm so happy that they're enjoying the swimming pool. We'll have to see what they do over here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need to get a little NPC, like a little keeper. I'm gonna have to hire a keeper or an educator or some kind over here to keep an eye on the tigers, because this is just, this is just fantastic. Look at this. Oh my gosh. All right, well, you guys. Just like that, we have finished another exhibit in our zoo. I'm so excited. And tomorrow we'll have to work on some more brand new, absolutely beautiful exhibits. I'm thinking we might finish up the uh, white-tailed deer exhibit. Or actually, you know, tomorrow we might spend a little bit of time in the village, maybe. And we might spend a little bit of time working with uh, the new dog and taming her. So we might do that. Oh my goodness, look at the tiger enjoy. Oh, that's so cool. And I will see you guys next time. So South Chinese tiger, it, almost an endangered, almost extinct species. I think there's only like less than 100, less than 70 individuals left in the world. They're part of conser conservative breeding programs that China is currently doing. They are not reintroduced to the wild. There's no solidified plan just yet. They were working on a plan as of 2013. So it's been a couple years since any progress has been made on getting a new plan for these guys to be reduced, like introduced back into the wild. But they are rewilding and training some of the cubs that they have bred through their endangered pr breeding program to be reintroduced into the wilds of a very specific mountain range in South China. So that is kind of the history of the South Chinese tiger. As you guys know, tigers are very often kind of part of the, uh, the exotic menu when it comes to being in China. It's just one of the, the unfortunate truths of their situation. Uh, you know, turning the tigers into medicine, status symbols, because they're rare, people want them. And in 1970, the government declared them as pests. And so there were about 7,000 South Chinese tigers at that time. After they were declared as pests, they were almost 100% eradicated. So that's kind of their history, but they're not gone yet. Unlike some of the poor rhinoceros species, and I'm gonna have to take care of those vines so they can't escape. But yeah, unlike some of the poor rhinoceros species, uh, they're not gone yet, so we'll have to see. Their population has shrunk down. I don't know if they're genetically viable anymore, but they can probably interbreed with other species of tiger, so we will figure out what the future holds for these guys, and we'll at least be able to give them a wonderful, beautiful, happy life here in our zoo, because look at them. 
Oh, they look beautiful and they look very content. So I will see you guys next time. We will do a little bit of work around the home and we'll get ready to expand our zoo even more and welcome more people in it and disperse the villagers so that they're happy where they live. And you know, we need to meet with Primrose's sister and figure out what she's all about, Alia. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.